For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got one of the glitchiest post patch plays in the game for you guys today. And it's also one of the glitchiest plays in the game prior to the patch. Uh, it was something that was actually mentioned in the patch. I'm going to show you guys a play and an adjustment that you can make where you can assess a home run just about every single defense in the game. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the play. Now, the play itself should look very familiar because it was mentioned in the patch very specifically the gun bunch verticals you can use this concept out of the pistol bunch out of the single back bunch it doesn't matter i'm gonna go with the gun bunch though i'm in the raiders playbook even though i'm using the ravens i'm sure the ravens i'm pretty sure the ravens have the verticals like i said every single playbook in the game has the verticals so let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side I'll start off with cover three although like i said this play, play works against a lot of different defenses as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor at aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support your channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and you just got code money to get three percent off it's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market now pre-patch all you had to do is put this beer out on a fade it was a very glitchy play this is a play that i had originally in my ebook uh, although ultimately this was the, pl the play that they essentially mentioned in the patch that they didn't want to work anymore and what they basically did nope. in this patch is they really beefed up these outside third cornerbacks i'll go to the replay just to show you guys uh what this cornerback does it this cornerback now will not let anything past them essentially i mean anything in their area to start does not get over the top of these cornerbacks like it did pre-patch as you can see i mean he basically just he has position and he always will so this setup is pretty much dead in the water they also patched the delay fade which is something only tight ends can do uh it's basically like a check and release where they basically made it so that now you can't control the delay fade you used to be able to control when it released onto its route now it just goes into its route. It stops like it's going to block and it goes right into its route. As you can see, it lets a pass rusher get right by. So that's two very specific things that they patched. So watch what happens if I use these two things together. I'm going to put the A route on delay fade. You have to slide your protection to the right to account for the delay fade. If you don't, you will get sacked instantly. You saw in the last play, the, the, the delay fade acts like a blocker and he still has the responsibility of a blocker even though he just runs right up the field and lets the defensive end go right past, which is totally stupid. But like I said, I mean, they, they, they tried to patch this glitch and I think they just made it glitchier. So I'll put him on delay fade, slide your protection to the right. It's all you have to do. I'm gonna run this from a hash mark, which I really don't have to do, but you're gonna see how the cornerback really glitches out over the top and just lets Marcus Hollywood Brown just run right past and for an easy touchdown so like i was saying the way that the uh the, this game was patched i noticed a couple different things number one these curl flats they they do way more now they have way more responsibility when it comes to cover threes and i can notice that whether it's cover three match or cover three regular it's almost like they're all the zones are communicating together at the level of almost like a cover four quarters where they're passing responsibility off to one another based off of what's going on in the field so this particular play here once this guy gets to a certain point this safety it becomes his responsibility you can see he flips his hips he lets him pass then he flips his hips and he chases him so you can tell that this cornerback when he bails for the delay fade and like i said that's an extreme overreaction based off of the patch because once again this cornerback is like they programmed it don't let anything streak past you and that's why after a certain point he just bails in his responsibility and comes in straight for the delay fade because it's like he's expecting that delay fade to get past him over the top like he was pre-patch but he just completely bails and changes responsibility of this guy of this receiver this wheel route to the safety who's about 10 yards behind and you can see why that's such an easy play you know most cover three plays are best either run from a hash mark whether it's a short side one play touchdown or, or an open hash mark like here uh, but you can run this play from anywhere it doesn't have to be from the hash mark that's one of the things i really like about this you're not restricted to where you are in the field like i could run it from like the even side here although i put i still did the old setup there but i could run it from the even side and i'll still have this success so like i said most important thing is sliding that protection at this point and then you can see here once again i mean he just bailed for that uh, for that route and it's just one of the easiest one play touchdowns against cover three in the game right now and like i said it works the same whether you're in a gun bunch single back bunch any verticals play will have this success so let's go ahead and let's find 
the verticals as we have right here, the single back bunch. We'll go ahead and we'll do that again. Like I said, exact same setup. I think the gun bunch is a little bit better based off of the fact that, um, you know, you have the, um, the, the, the quarterbacks drop back where the single back bunch are right under center. So the pressure's a little bit harder to get to, but any verticals play, this will have success. But the delay fade is super glitchy now. It, it doesn't just have that effect on uh, cover three cornerbacks. It has that effect on cover two safeties and stuff like that too. So let's go ahead and pick that play again. We'll start off with Tampa two and we'll do some man coverage as well. Uh, but all you gotta do, exact same effect, gotta do that slide protection though, because like I said, they really messed up the blocking scheme when it comes to this. And you're gonna see how this guy gets outside of the, I mean, this is something you could kind of do prior to the patch anyway. So we're gonna do that one more time, try to get ourselves a touchdown here. The only real downside is even when you slide this protection sometimes, the, the, it still kind of messes up the blocking scheme. He still gets outside containment. And then you can see, like I said, you can get a very big play against cover two, although I safe caught that rather than you know catching and running that. But you can see it works against cover two or cover three. Also has a lot of success against man coverage. So we'll pick that play one more time. Then we're gonna go to cover two man, which is something that really shouldn't have success against. So we're going to do that one more time. I find on this particular setup though, motioning out this receiver makes the most sense based off the fact that it brings him down kind of like in a press look. So this is the only play we really have to do that. So slide my protection, delay fade, exact same setup. And you're gonna see the B-Rat here is already gone as he basically just gets right around that guy for an easy, uh, you know, bomb it up, one play touchdown against cover two man. You could also do that against cover two zone, but it really makes the most sense against cover two man. Motioning that guy out. Well, basically, as you can see, he runs right around him. He basically just gets right past him instantly. And then I don't have to do too much of a, uh, a pass lead either, like I do in some of the other plays. So that's something that's really helpful. So pretty much any man coverage will have that exact same effect. I'm not going to spend too much time doing that. We'll go with the cover one hole. This is something that, um, you know, I don't even really have to make any adjustments. You just need a speed advantage here, and you can see how Hollywood Brown is going to get right over the top of that. So cover zero, cover one, cover two man, it doesn't matter. It's going to work the same. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays like this, more glitchy one-play touchdowns against cover three post-patch, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.